the different particles and there's different types of them in each of these families. And they all have a mass, a charge, a spin, and a color. A grand unified theory, once again, has to explain these and things better be falling out of the theory naturally to encompass all of these, okay? Is it possible, taking a cue from Maxwell's influential unification of electricity and magnetism in the 19th century, so in the 1800s, to, pull, to put all QED, the weak interactions, and QCD together in a single overarching theory? This is what the grand unification theory motivation is, a single overarching theory. A theory that unifies the electromagnetic force with the weak nuclear force was developed around 1970 by Glasgow, Salam, and Weinberg. Can you still hear me? Called the electroweak theory, this represents these two distinct forces as being the low energy manifestations of a single force. So indeed, there was some success in unifying, of course, the, the weak nuclear force with electromagnetism force. Um, Electroweak theory, uh, which represents these two distinct forces as being the low energy, the low energy manifestations of a single force. When particles have low energy and are moving slowly, moving slowly, very slowly, they do feel the different nature of the weak and electromagnetic forces. Physicists say that at high energies, there is a symmetry between the electromagnetic and weak interactions electromagnetism and the weak force appear different to us at low energies because this symmetry is broken. There is another symmetry um, at high energies that is something we're not, you know, uh, there's Baji, that we're not something, it's something that we're not constantly experiencing because we live in a different reality than at those high energies. But there, uh, there are, there is more beauty of symmetry to be found at those other environments, okay? Imagine a pencil standing on its end. When vertical, it looks the same from all directions. A random air movement or passing lorry will cause it to topple. It could fall in any direction with equal probability. But when it falls, it falls some particular way, picking out some specific direction. In the same way, the difference between electromagnetism and weak nuclear forces could be just happenstance. 